Welcome back, guys. Welcome to the Players Universe podcast. Do not adjust your sets. Do not adjust your devices. It is me, Weza. I am leading the charge for a change. <laughs> in a change to the scheduled billing. Um, we actually have the Midnight Kid on as a guest yeah, this man. time. So, yeah, Barry, weird. a very good afternoon as well. The fact that we're doing this in broad daylight, everyone can see how messy my room is. They can finally <laughs> see how ugly you are. And... Uh, <laughs> How, how are things, dude? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to having a, a good chat with you. Finally, we're able to talk about, uh, you know, what we're going to talk about. So it's been what nearly three weeks, I think now. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And this is the the measures we take, you know, finish work early, <laughs> jump into a podcast. It's what yeah, we do, things, you know, just to get one out. We, the things we do for content, guys. Yeah, the things we do, we do for content. For the well, likes. well, to sum up. To sum up the reason why we're actually here, and to sum up the reason why Barry is a guest rather than the host this week, um, there's a small, oh, I can only say, little get together you maybe went down to yeah, London. Man. Maybe you had to, you had to maybe come across the pond. <laughs> I had to. Yeah. Or, the, or the the Irish Channel, as it were. The Irish um, Channel. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to kind of uh, expand on that a little bit, I'll leave you to run. Yeah. So the sixth of September, myself and a couple of other community guys went to Windsor to play an early version of the game um we had about a two hour i think it was a two hour play test roughly there was a presentation in there as well at some stage um so we had about 15 minute presentation and then the rest was just kind of raw gameplay really um where we were just able to sit down and play either against the ai or play against you know whoever was there whether it was a konami employee or whoever um that was there obviously with covid and stuff you know it was kind of quite restricted in that like we weren't given free reign i suppose of the place um which in different times you could talk to everybody and whatever but uh yeah yeah it was still fun man i mean we got to play two hours of the game um which was you know early we've obviously been under embargo then since the 6th of september um and there was media guys there as well it was pretty much a demo, an early version of the demo. I don't know how early it was. I don't know whether what I was playing is going to be, you know. So all my impressions tonight, as is the norm when you play an early version of the game, as in E3, and I've been to E3 and Gamescom, I'm just going to give my impressions based on, on what exactly what I played. So <laughs> if it changes, if it gets faster or slower or something is removed or something's added, I'm only going to, you know, give my impressions on a two hour build <laughs> that we only had the, fi the five minute matches as well was a big thing that um, yeah. it was kind of a pain in the arse really that, you know, it's very hard to get a feel of a game in five minutes, you know, you so, oh, gotcha. um, yeah, there was a couple of downfalls with it, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was great to be asked to play anyway and, and then just give honest opinions on, on what I played to the lads over there um, and discuss them here tonight. So yeah, Good that's, stuff. that's Good kind stuff. of it, man. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, my last trip to Windsor, it was it was very much the same. It was, you know, you obviously it wasn't COVID time at that point, but it was, you know, everybody was in the same room together. You all could kind of get kind of yeah. read on stuff, and you all kind of got a general vibe of the game. I think kind of probably my role here tonight is probably to not necessarily cross examine you because <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not you're not a Konami. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm under pressure. You know, but it, it's it's more a case of of at least i wouldn't even say trying to allay fears i think it's more to get a kind of a genuine and an honest opinion of it yeah but I that's mean, it man i mean i'll just be honest i mean there was things i liked and things i didn't like i mean yeah. that's that, that's the way pez has been ever since i've you know i've been playing early versions of the game since maybe i'd say 16 so like you yeah. can only be honest like and and give your impressions on what you played you know um i've had it happen before where you know you have been one that has given me good advice of before when I went to E3, I was like, you know, this is amazing and this is this. And then the demo comes out, the game comes out and it's faster. Yeah, and, then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden it's, oh, the Midnight Kids told me this game's going to be awesome. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, okay. this this And, and you get into that kind yeah, of... Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. Because as as we we know through kind of game development or at least the you know previous games that we've seen or other games uh, you know across other genres as well is that you know a, a beta build or an earlier build of the game could be vastly different than the one that you potentially get at the end definitely man, you yeah. know so so i think it is quite crucial that yeah. you know you do speak of what you've played versus oh well we think that this is going to happen going mm. forward or we think that's happened previously yeah we really hone in on what it is that you have, have played and exactly. i think the two kind of big queries i would say that are from probably for the community more often than most i'd probably say is first of all how does it play and mm -hmm. second of all how does it look because yeah. obviously there's been a lot of kind of review and chatter of 
trailers that have been put out and in terms of the mechanisms and things of that yeah. nature that exist there's a mobile the game. game on P- yeah, yeah and then you've and as you quite rightly pointed out there the other criticism is that, oh it's a mobile game that's been scaled up or it's, yeah. a, it's a console game that's scaled down and and there's there's a lot of chatter between people and they're realistic I wouldn't necessarily say they're realistic criticisms, but they're, yeah. they're, they're no, they're warranted. Points. Like they are warranted. I think they're definitely. I think they're valid. I think they're valid points yeah. because we, as a community, haven't seen a lot of the game. There hasn't been footage to speak of uh, that you know you're able to really stick your hands on and go, well, that's exactly how it's going to look. Mm. And and whether that's kind of Konami maybe trying to control the narrative, it might be. Or it's a fact that there's a whole different ways to to kind of look at it. You can mm. you know you can pick one point. You can look at it in eight different ways. Like it it really is that way. So I'll I'll lean across to you now. First of all, gameplay. Talk to us. How did it play? Yeah, man. It's 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 it is a hard one to describe because as I said, right. So right, where did I start? So the first thing about the gameplay is that like it is. It is Pez, like, at its core, you know what I mean? Like, you can see mm-hmm. that there is fundamental stuff there that is Pez. Like, the passing, the shooting, you know, the physicality, you know, the actual look and feel of it does feel Pez. Like, you wouldn't go in thinking that this, you know, this is a brand new development team or whatever. So, yeah. the stuff that people like with Pez and the stuff that they don't like with Pez is still going to be kind of seen uh when people you know if people well as i said i mean the dim, the, the bill could change by september 30th from my played it it's 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 over uh three weeks ago so um like the game is good like it's fine like as in the fine fine but like it's it's grand you can pass you can shoot you can dribble you can like you know it was you know attacking was responsive like a couple of things compared to the beta the right stick r stick um the player switching is back you can turn off all the curses that they've brought in. So the, you know, the mobile style circle under the player, you can turn that off and never see it again. Um, you know, like there's, there's a couple of cool ideas that they're doing with some of the features they're bringing, such as like the sharp kick that was in this build that we were playing, uh, that I think could be game changing. Um, and I think that the manual defending is probably the biggest one. So the defending to me felt the most like I need to relearn this game compared to I'm playing, you know, a shinier version of Pez 2021 with a couple of new features or a couple of additions or subtractions here and there. Um, I thought that that was probably the game changer of it, that like, yeah, the passing was grand, the shooting was grand, all that sort of stuff. But the defending and the actual manualness of the defenders, like when you were in control, was like completely different from Pez over the last couple of years. As in, when I sat down and played it for the first couple of games, I was like, yeah, this is kind of grand. But then when I started to realize, oh, I actually, you know, I have no teammate press, but I can do this, like I can do this as an alternative, which was, you know, control the player, then switch to another player and be pressing kind of manually with them, like yeah, closing down passing lanes. It's very similar. What I played was very similar from a defensive standpoint to the PES 2018 beta, which Ooh, is a big, big shout. Words, yeah, that's a big they're shout. Big words. Yeah, but it was... I obviously I don't have a crystal clear memory of the Pez 2018 beta, but I do remember that the defending was extremely difficult in it if you didn't want to learn how to defend and people were getting spanked that would usually just hold square, hold X to defend for you. So I remember there being I remember there being like very vivid memories of me playing that beta and me knowingly making challenges knowing that i'd made the mistake yeah so it was almost like you made one mistake and then you're then trying to rectify that mistake with all the other players yeah and that the hole on the pitch would essentially feel like it was just moving yeah and then you'd see the shapes and you'd see the you'd see the holes and stuff in like when i was playing one or two matches towards the end of the session in windsor i was like i could see you know i had a very set plan as to what i wanted to do and i could see the holes that were opening up like because i knew that you know the guy that i was playing was obviously making mistakes and then the same for me like i was conceding a lot of space and conceding a lot of stuff that i was like like i was like oh there's a load of chances going in but it was like at the same time that to me was the biggest like addition to the build that i played as in i think that there was a good learning curve in it that you needed to sit down and you know like train your brain that like if you're playing pez now I would say that 90% of people that play in my club use 
AI pressure or use the X button to go in and take the ball. You know, and they'll go through man, yeah. ball and all. It doesn't matter. The ref might blow sometimes, but he doesn't all the time. Whereas well, with this, like you can't, you actually can't do that. It's not even an option to be able to just hone in on a player yeah. or bring in three different players from, you know, midfield or one of the biggest tactics in my club that I find when I'm playing, especially in co-op, and you'll know yourself from playing down throughout the years, is you don't defend, you don't ever select your defenders. Like you just yeah. have your DMF or CMF and run back and track back the space and the, the pockets there. That wasn't possible in the build that we were playing. Now, obviously, we weren't playing five star my club or five star creative teams or whatever it's going to be called. But <laughs> um, that will obviously change and you'll have a meta and you'll have all this sort of stuff. But for me, that was the thing that I would probably be most excited about. And that was what I took away the most out of it. Like okay. there was other stuff there as well. Um, you know, but for all intents and purposes, man, it felt like a Pez game. Like, it felt at its core, it was, you know, the Pez DNA was there. Um, because I think that's been a pretty big, that's been, a, again, another pretty big worry is that the the kind of the the essence of Pez has mm. almost been kind of stripped out of the game. And, and, and I think that, again, the, the, it's all valid concerns because we've not had anything sight, you know, we haven't had sight of anything or any yeah. impressions to yeah. be able to kind of go, you know, oh, well, this is, this is, you know, this is what it, this is what it is, mm. and and I think that is kind of still going to be a worry, even even into kind of, I mean, as a time of recording, even into next week, yeah. even into you know, in a couple of months' time when you know, I believe creative team drops, which I'm sure we'll talk about in some yeah. length later on. But in terms of those those gameplay a, a kind of aspects that you've mentioned there, it sounds quite positive. It's quite positive, but mm. it, it's not. It's not you know, rah, 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 it's, yeah. all, it's all perfect. It's yeah, it's, like, yeah, we can see where they're going. But I could see, there, I could see like, w when you, like, when you play a game early, and as I, as I touched on earlier, like, it's very easy to, you know what I mean? I'm flying over, like, from Ireland to play a game. It's always going to be a little bit exciting. You know, you're meeting people, you're talking Pez, you're talking, like, you know, meeting guys that you don't often see in real life, especially with COVID. I hadn't been away, apart, obviously, from going to the UEFA thing. I hadn't been away like in like, you know, I hadn't been over to Windsor in years. Like, so yeah, there yeah. is that excitement going. So it's very easy to go over and be, oh, this was brilliant. And that was amazing. Blinded, and all this. Blinded by the yeah. occasion. And like, yeah. it's, it's, you know, and all the lads over there are super passionate. You know, they're super like friendly. It was such a professional event. Everything was done. Like, abs I had no, absolutely no faults whatsoever. And you could actually sit down and talk to lads and actually go and be neg you know, not negative, but critical. Like you could say, look, like that color scheme is terrible. Like I was, I was you know going to lead mean? on to this. I was going to lead on to this in terms of, in terms of what would you probably say are going to be the potential pitfalls that this game has? Because obviously it, it is a demo that's dropping yeah. on the 30th of September. 30th and, of September. Yeah. And it's, and it's, you know, again, much has been made of that decision by Konami. Yeah. It's more a case now of is that what, what where do you think this game's gonna get hamstrung? You know, it is, as much as we go, do you know what these aspects are very good? Mm. What aspect were you looking at from the at least the very limited time that you had? You know, given the fact that it's five minute games, yeah, it's a two hour window. It, as we know from playing five minute games, they go very yeah. very quickly. Couple of possessions, yeah. couple of attacks, and that's it. Yeah, and um, it's very hard to nail that down. So, yeah, was there anything that was sticking out like a sore thumb was anything like patently obvious that yeah needed yeah to be of course of course there was like it, it, it's it's always the same in an early version of the game and who knows you know, like what's going to happen on september 30th what is actually going to release because we don't know like we know obviously it's going to be nine team demo and then they're going to add modes throughout the year but yeah there was a couple of issues the biggest the biggest one for me i think stripping away from like small niggles of you know, the passing didn't feel zippy enough or like little things like that, which is all just fine tuning. I think my biggest thing going away from it, if manual defending was my like highlight, I think the collision mm -hmm. system was my low light. Mm -hmm. And that's been something that I think they've struggled with like for the last maybe two years, I think from PES 20 to 21. Mm -hmm. um, I remember, I think it was with data pack four, I think for PES 2021, the game went from like, you know, me playing 20 or 30 co-op games a week and actually enjoying the Pez the most I'd ever enjoyed it to like the next data pack was like pretty unplayable, like online. 
you know, players running into each other, fall, both of them falling onto the ground, um, like stuff like that. So, you know, that was probably the biggest thing for me, seeing some of the collision systems in or some of the collision stuff in the, the demo that I was playing. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of kind of stuff that you're like, oh, like that doesn't look good. Yeah. Um, you know, you you know yourself from playing football games and anyone listening or watching will know as well that like certain things happen, like certain clipping and, you know, an arm might go through a player's head or like it happens in yeah. all the sports games, right? Yeah. But I think with Pez, it's like there's such a huge emphasis placed on, especially in the demo I played, there's such a huge emphasis played on or placed on like the weight of the players, the slower yeah. pace, like different ways to attack rather than just, you know, like, geek and press everyone when you're out of possession and, you know, triangle, pass, tiki-taka when you're attacking. Um, like, the collision system needs to be better than ever. Like, it yeah. needs to be way well, better than... I was going to than... say, if you, if you put such an emphasis on such a key part of the game of football, you know, I'd be, you know, attacking, defending, yeah. and, and, and the physical contact, as we saw in the trailer, where, the, you know, you see Papa Meccano give somebody the, the, you know, the shoulder and the robot that those systems do need to be watertight. Yeah. They do yeah. need to be very, Agreed. very, very high level because otherwise, it, it, you know, the key aspect of your game where you're like, oh, you know what? I can shrug a player off the ball. You know, we we, we all remember the, the the glory days of Lucinda Traore flying through the air in a, in a penalty box, which yeah. essentially, you know, it, it, it shouldn't have happened, mm. but it did because mm. of the way that the the systems were and the way that you know crossing had become overpowered it, it is all about balance yeah, they do definitely. need to find the right balance mm -hmm. and and i am you know i am i'm hopeful that yeah. they do granted the fact that you know I, I may not necessarily be as invested in the game series as i once was i still wish the game yeah, to do well i still yeah. because again if, if you have a football game that rivals another football game and they're both pushing one another, yeah. and it, it is only for the betterment of our four four gamers. Really. Exactly, hundred um, percent. You know, and I think looking, you know, as you talked about, kind of clipping there, you know, in terms of that, will will lead on to this, which has kind of been the big kind of elephant in the room, which is how did the game look? Because obviously, there's been there's been the there's been the trailers that have come out where people have gone, ah, oh, do you know what? That's that doesn't look right. The pitch doesn't look right. This yeah. doesn't look. Right. And and there's been a lot of holes punched in. And again, rightfully so. Yeah, yeah there are criticisms yeah. there to be had. So how did it look when you had it in front of you? So I played on PS5 on you know top of the range OLED TV like oh okay top of the range and there was they an out for you yeah there was all yeah there was also <laughs> uh, a PS5 dev kit. So I played about maybe. I'd say I played about five or six games on the PS5 and then the rest on the dev kit. Um, and, like, the game looked good, man. I was surprised, actually, how good it looked when I first saw it, when I walked in. And they had this kind of, like, there was this little trailer at the start um, that was kind of, like, it wasn't cinematic, but it was, like, it was in-game, like, but it was just more of a kind of a showcase of the stuff that they'd worked on and the graphics and stuff. And then... When you actually load up the first game, I think I played was Juventus versus Bayern, I think, and it was at night time in Juventus' stadium, and it looked it looked brilliant. Like I'm not even going to exaggerate; it looked fantastic. But compared to like I went in and I was thinking this game is going to look like PES 2021 at mm -hmm. best. Obviously, the cutscenes yeah. we'd seen come out, I didn't think that the cutscenes that came out looked phenomenal. I thought they looked good, but they didn't look you know next gen ish. Yeah. But uh, to, to quote it, it you from earlier, good. they looked fine. <laughs> yeah, they looked, they looked fine. fine. But when I saw it in front of me on a proper TV, and you know, you have your heads, your headset in the pulse headset that you're wearing there, um, and it, like it sounded good, it looked good, the players looked good, like the actual, the biggest thing that like that that kind of struck me was the movement of the players and the player models, which is a massive step up. Now, a lot of people mightn't care about that. Like, that's only a, a visual Yeah, thing. There, there are some people out there going, like, what do you mean? Like, I, yeah. I, want to know about, I want to know about the nets, and I want to know about how the Yeah, like the nets, the, like. and this is the thing, man, that's a great point, because, like, if, you know, some of the stuff like that, like the players from when they enter the stadium before the match in the dressing room, coming out to the pitch, like, warming up, and then you kick off in like i switched the default cam which was the dynamic wide the game looks fantastic compared to the new camera new camera is fine but it just it doesn't look as good that all looks good 
But then on the flip side of that and all that stuff that looks really, really, really good visually and at a really high level, and it's definitely not like a mobile game, like boosted up. Like it's like they have definitely concentrated on the visuals. But on the same time, then you look at the grass, you look at the nets, you look at the goals, you look at the like, you know, the crowds and some of the angles the that they shoot with. Sort of the pitch, yeah, and it about. just looks like, the, you know, it looks, it's not on the same level of, quality that the the stuff that they've concentrated on you know is and some of the player faces don't look great some of the like animations when a, a player we've seen a couple of screenshots from the official trailers coming out of like Shalini where he looks like he's going full exorcist with the neck and he's like screaming into the camera yeah. you know we've seen it with a couple of players like that there is a couple well, they of... never got they've never got mouths right like yeah. in terms of like the actual in terms of the actual features yeah. and stuff they, they've had those like for for years yeah but the actual mechanisms of of uh, a face it doesn't seem to yeah i agree you know, like if you go into if you go into even pez 21 now and you look at jack Grealish's face or if you look at one of the like the later scanned faces like they look they look unreal like but yeah. when you see them in movement when they're on the pitch, you can get the odd angle where the player is like, you know, there's one where he has his eyes closed like that. Like, or like there's <laughs> well, one. Like the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like <laughs> The Undertaker. And it's like people will know that I've played PES 21. You, you are right. Like they, are, they have, I think that that sometimes looks like you, you know, if you wanted to get a screenshot, I and mean, I'm sure we'll see it on Twitter when this demo comes out in the 30th. People that want to make the game look bad will be definitely able to make it look bad. Yeah, you know well, what we've, I mean. We've so seen it, yeah, but we've seen that we've seen that before across sports. Like, yeah, you know, if you, same if in you FIFA have, as well, you, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you see it across gaming, you see it across sports. Like, if you wanted to put a montage of of Ronaldo, you know, kind of like Ronaldo's kind of points together mm. you, of really bad points. For example, he's the game against Newcastle. Mm. I saw the minute that he's hit that really wonky thing everyone was like oh this is just uh, this is this is his comeback and it's yeah. just like well what, well hold on hold on uh, show us show us the show us the show us the you know the two goals that he's just scored yeah show us show us this like but no one goes back to do that and, <laughs> and it's the same with gaming you know you can make a game look terrible you can make a you can make anything look yeah, terrible course can, with yeah. editing with editing you can make anything look terrible yep and and that and that is unfortunately is a sad fact yeah. of of social media nowadays. So I'd imagine that come the thirtieth, we're probably going to see a bunch of really bad <laughs> screenshots. Yeah, of course, we definitely will. We definitely. Will. But the game looks the game looks fine, man. Like it looks good. Like visually, it's great. Like it is a, it is a step up. We've seen the the cutscenes and that. Like the other day, Barcelona released a cutscene or a trailer on their thing to introduce their team or kit or whatever. Like, it looks grand. It's just, you know, picture that in 4K on a 2,000 euro or 2,000 pound TV. That's, like, just, it, it looks I'll amazing. Pull my, yeah. I'll pull that out of my back pocket, yeah? yeah, yeah that's, gonna, that's yeah. the thing. Not everyone will have a 4K. Like, I don't have a, you know what I mean? I have a 4K TV yeah. down in the sitting room, but, like, I won't be probably playing Pez on that. It'll probably be, like, my normal monitor. So, but I think, yeah, but I think, you know, I think that's, I think that's where... I think that's where it's... It, 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 and, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a, a kind of a join here. It it kind of stems back to the fact of again what you're saying there where you're like you know what it's fine it looks good yeah because of how they set the precedent mm. and because of how they set it all up I'm just gonna shut my door there we go cool. so because sorry it's, it's audible and and also visual <laughs> um, but it was the way that they set the precedent with the teaser trailer yeah with the messy one which has then led to people going. Well, this doesn't look the same as that. Yeah, and that's why there's a there's again a fair continuity. That's going. definitely definitely a fair point, and I think where was this? Yeah, I think, man. To be honest with you, that point you made there is probably the best point that is going to be made when talking about eFootball. Not to give you a big head now, I can see you smiling, <laughs> but like <laughs> they did set out the, the stone, like they set out that they wanted the game to visually look like that, but I don't think that people realized, as we now know. That this game back then when they announced that and they showed Messi, I think that they planned on, you know, they obviously had their plan set in motion for free to play, continuous development, mm -hmm. no longer tied to the nine, ten month development process of right, we need to have the game done, mass league, edit mode, become a legend, everything packaged and sealed and delivered by, you know, August every year. Now the reins are off. They can decide, right, well, something's not ready. 
we don't need to release it for launch now. We can just add it on uh, post patch. And I think the game will eventually, if it does move to Unreal 5, which I, it will eventually, it will get to the, those levels of visuals for like the scanned players and stuff. Yeah. But how long is that? That could be two years. Yeah. Away. Do you know what I'm saying to you? So I think and that's I, why that's people it. are frustrated that this game, I reckon, and this is my kind of biggest take away from it, right? The game look the game looked great compared to what I thought it was going to look like. It looked way better than I thought it was going to look at like like f- compared to the trailers. You know, there were shadows on the pitch, like there was like proper player scan faces, the physicality, the body models, everything looked really good, right? But the problem is for me is that well, it's not a problem for me, but it's for other people is that like I've already resigned myself to the fact that this game comes September 30th is going to be continuous development. So like if somebody checks in on this game in a year's time, it'll probably be way better than what it is when we get in September 30th. Yeah. But some people won't check in on it in a year's time. Do you know that kind no, of No, and that, and that's it. And that's it. It's it's you know, it's it's how long are you willing to wait mm. for those additional pieces? How 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 long are you prepared to wait because you know as we saw from that very vague roadmap that we tore to pieces when it first came out. <laughs> It, it you know winter can be as late as march yeah so it could it's be like, yeah. if you're looking at the rest of the modes if you are say the you know the pest story modes of the world the uh yeehaws of the world you're uh, in countless other people who mm. do master league series if you're spoony pizzas if you're shogun if you're any of those guys you've got to wait if you don't want to play online yeah you have to wait six months potentially yeah to be able to do any content and on the flip side of it again you know let you know the the online side of things yeah all right online they're taken care of but if you know if that player pack release date is meant to be believed Mm -hmm. you're looking to the second week of november Mm. so again for your likes of pesef for your likes of lb games your likes of uh you know timber all of these people who will play creative team yeah are they gonna wait? Yeah, tw- two months. See, that's the thing, Are man. I, I think every. I think like, it's, I think some people still haven't, and it's not. It's not their fault. Like, it's they still haven't realized of what's going to actually release September thirtieth. Like, that's yeah, that's I what mean, it is. Is that because yeah. the messaging, like, has been so poor, and the marketing has been so like all over the place, and there's been no clear message coming out that like, you know, I I, I think for instance we were like we weren't allowed to capture gameplay over in the event right obviously we had to sign we were under embargo and we couldn't talk about it until this has gone live now so it was mm-hmm. 2 p.m today it was the embargo for the press and everybody and like i think if we had just been able to capture footage because the some of the stuff i saw over there when i was playing i was going into replay and i was like oh that was that was really cool like you know yeah. um i think if we were allowed to do like community videos and showcase the game like people would have probably realized straight away oh this is what the game is and this is what it looks like compared to now i think people are going to have to like be patient with this game and that's just the way it's going to be because you're talking about you you said it perfectly there man is that like from the 30th of september to we don't know when. Like we're thinking with the release. We're that thinking came out November. The, we're thinking yeah. November just because of the the the, the player my club released. stuff. Yeah. But it could. But it could. It could. It could be any. It could yeah. be any time. But even let's just say it's a yeah. Like that's what that's like that's a month. But like just, that's like no. nearly a month and a half. Yeah. So yeah, like half. let's just say that it comes out the first of November. You're still waiting a month to play like something other than a demo which was with nine teams you know what i mean like the, the demo i played was nine teams you had five of the partner clubs four of the brazilians and it was like you know offline or you know all they're adding to it is online the only thing i don't know is like what build it is going to be what they improve what they change yeah. from what i played yeah. i don't know what they're gonna i won't know that till september 30th and that's just why i'm only going on what i played but i think that's just going to be it man i think that this is going to be a year where people have to decide, you know, look, I'm happy to sit here and wait 12 months for a next-gen Unreal Engine Master League. And if you're happy to do that, kudos to you. Like, no one's, no one should have a go at you or, or, or talk shit to you. If you're not happy to do that and you want to try something else, like, yeah. 
try your FIFAs, try your NBA 2K, try your Halos and, you know, Call of Duty Vanguard. Like, there's loads of games out there, as you put up a tweet a couple of weeks back. There's tons yeah. of games out there to, to take up your time, you know? Yeah. But I do think that this is going to be a long-term project for Konami now, definitely. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be... You're talking maybe, you know, three to six months before there's anything to do apart from my club or, you know what I mean, pretty much. Yeah, just... and, and I think that's the disappointment because, again... We talk we talk a lot on 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 this podcast about the criticisms that that come through the community that come through our timelines through our Twitter co- uh, through our uh, YouTube comments through through everything, and and the the main crux of it is going to be from a lot of people when the thirtieth of September drops, a lot of the crux of it is going to be you've had two years to develop this, you took a half step with Pez twenty twenty one, you essentially sold the vision of. It's going to be a next gen one. That's the reason why we're taking our time. That's why we're doing this, that, and the other. And then when it comes to the release, it's it's a nineteen demo. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I would much prefer it as a as a person who is actually on the periphery of it. Realistically, now mm. I would have much rather than take the stance of going. Do you know what? Rather than give you the demo there, you give us the demo in August, and then you go down this route of of you know of continuous improvement because realistically you are launching your game in the peak time of fifa Mm. launching theirs yeah and you know it's it's night and day Mm. you know i i'm you know i'm kind of sat here you know with the with the the fifa 22 you know 10 hour trial Mm. you know i've then got the game as of monday Mm. it's three days before you even get a demo I could have started a career mode with Aston Villa. I could then go on to Ultimate Team. I could team up with you on Volta. I could go and do all of these different things that are on fleshed out modes. Granted, you've got the people who then go, oh, yeah, but they're not very good game modes. At least they're still mm. there. Yeah. At least they are there at launch. And and again, I'm going to kind of move on to this a little bit now because it, it, it kind of got in my craw, as, oh. as you would have <laughs> seen in, in WhatsApp messages yeah. from me. It would have been a case that, you know, FIFA aren't marketing themselves as a free game. Mm. So you've got eFootball that's sitting there going, yep, set football free. Yep, we're free to play. Yep, we're this, that, and the other. And then absolutely out of nowhere does a player pack that could cost four or cost what forty euros? Is Part, it? Yeah, thirty two pounds. I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep, it, in keep it in euros for, you for our European I'll audience. Keep it in you know? euros, but it's like <laughs> you've got some. You've you've got there's no Brexit in got, this podcast. There's no, there are no. Yeah, there's no Brexit in this podcast. But it's it. You, you've got you've then got a player pack that you've then released for forty for yeah, forty euros. And crazy. and I get I get. No, I can't even say I get it. I don't get it because you can't have your unique selling point of the game be we're free to play, it's set football free, it's our hashtag, it's our motto, we're doing all this stuff, mm. and then prey on people's FOMO yeah. uh, for those of a slightly older generation, it's fear of missing out. Mm. You can't then prey on people's FOMO and then put some of your player base at a distinct disadvantage mm. if they don't get it mm. because the level of things you can get out of it, you know, you've got your ambassador deals or your chance deals, which are the ambassadors. You've then got the fact that they've still they're giving you 2,800 My Club coins. Mm. And I'm just like... It's effectively we... the iconic moment, like, yeah, editions from yeah. last year. That's and effectively that, what it is. Yeah, and the fact that you can buy it multiple times. Yeah. And it's just like, come on. Like, if you, you could literally... And again, we talk about these PR own goals that Konami keeps scoring. Mm. There was, you know, there's the trailer, there's the lack of communication, there's the lack of marketing, there's all of these different things. Your own goal here now, realistically, is you could have set the precedent and gone, do you know what? Our game is completely free to play. Mm. As in, we're going to give you everything you can get in game, Mm. which granted, they have done to some degree with this match pass thing. But again, at the time of recording, we don't know if you've got to pay for that to get the yeah. additional part of that. Yeah, that's unknown. There's yeah. the words premium passes that I'm seeing yeah. around at times. And I'm just kind of sat there kind of going, if you're already going to try and get money out of that part of the game, you don't then need this. It's almost like you've literally gone, 
Oh, we haven't put we haven't put out a, a, a pre order. Oh, I'm gonna do gotta do something. That's what yeah. it feels like. It just feels like they're putting it out there for the sake of putting it out there. Mm. And it just doesn't to me it doesn't make any sense because we've not seen any game footage of any real quality. Mm. We have see outside of the impressions that you're probably gonna see today throughout across the internet. Across yeah, and I don't know what footage is gonna come out. If there is yeah. footage coming out from the event, I don't know that. So I yeah. don't know what we're like by the time people yeah. are listening to this like it'll be you know probably you know 10 past well half two now but like if they listen to it live but by the time they listen to it whenever there probably will be stuff put out i just don't know yeah we like, just don't know yeah so it's so. like so it's like there's no footage of the game there's none of this there's not there's there's been no communication there's no footage of the game there's no kind of quantitative like here's what we've been doing over mm. the last you know over the last two years there's no real like and again, I'll use the term pitch notes. There's yeah. nothing. There's yeah. nothing to quantifiably outside of a trailer where you've got an asterisk saying that shark kicks are being introduced after launch mm. or in a future update. Yeah. There's there's nothing quantifiable that's there. We've mm. got a seven minute video that got d- described as a deep dive, and it's like it's not a deep dive. Mm. Under no circumstances is seven minutes enough time to be able to anybody to explain how and what they have changed in a video game. There's no way you can do it. Yeah. There's no way. So, mm. but, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's you know to to call it what it is for the, for right now. If the, if people go ahead and order it, obviously they have every right to do with their money as they yeah. wish. Like I will do the same thing. I'll end up buying you know FIFA points. I'll end up buying V bucks. I'll end up buying COD point uh, yeah. COD points and all these other things. The only distinction that I would make is is that they're not marketing themselves as Free to play games. Mm, mm. Call of Duty is not a free to play game. Mm. Although Warzone is, yeah, Warzone is. They don't, they don't then go. Oh, by the way, you then need to pre order stuff. And even with the the packs that you do buy, they're vanity projects yeah. or they're vanity packs. Yeah, you know, it's like the Saw one at Halloween and and you know different. Yeah. Ones. Same with Fortnite. You've got like LeBron James and the Space Jam stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avian and thing. Predator and all of these other things. But some of those things you can actually earn in game as well. Mm. I'm just struggling to see where the logic is in why you would have that pack out there when you're, you're trying to say we're free to play. Yeah. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. You can't yeah. have that USP and then have that. It's just, yeah, it, it is. It's, it's like you're, you are right about the war zone thing there. Like in war zone, if you want to, you know, get a certain gun or a certain, like, yeah, a certain new gun that they add in, a, in an update or whatever, like you can instantly buy, you know the pack that will grant you the gun and a hundred levels of the of the battle pass. You'll unlock everything instantly for like twenty quid or whatever. Every you know season pass or whatever. Um, but the you can still like if you want to sit down and grind it in multiplayer or grind it in zombies. It might take you a hundred hours, but you do have the option there. And I think we're not going to know like fully until we actually get the game in our hands thirtieth of September, and then also get to deep dive into my club or creative teams ourselves you know what i mean yeah. so it could be christmas well, time where we're sitting there and we're thinking yeah yeah i'm glad i didn't pre-order because i have neymar now i've got Messi. you know i grinded yeah well like, here's, you know. The, here's the yeah and exactly i mean uh, here's here's a question i'll kind of put to you is that it, it, we'll talk about these dates just because the fact that they're the only dates that we've got yeah you know they're the only two confirmed dates that we've got mm-hmm. so from what you played in that limited to our window do you think there is enough time between the 30th of September and the 11th of November to right some of the wrongs that you saw? No, I'm not saying that they have to acquiesce to yeah. just you. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's like it's not like we're making a game, a game deliberately for the Midnight Kid. But yeah. what I mean is, is that if these were common threads, shall we say, of, yeah. of criticism and feedback, is there enough time between the 30th and the 11th? Well, yeah. 30th of yeah, September and I, 11th of November to cure it? I think like I think depending on depending on what way you want to look at it, yeah, yes and no, I think, and that's given a political answer. But like the stuff that's there that is an issue, it's not unfixable. Like the game, you can sit down. Like I had some good games over there where I was actually like, you know, I got a last minute winner, and I nearly jumped out. My, well, I did kind of jump out of my seat and talked a bit of trash, you know, talked a bit of smack. <laughs> But like that, those really? pets, yeah, a little bit. That would be like me, <laughs> like Ray Keen style. But those moments are in the build there that I played. There is a couple of Pez magic moments there and a couple of cool animations and, you know, gold scoring opportunities and all that. And the stuff that they need to fix isn't 
impossible to fix. Like it's not like I would say that the collision system is irrep- irreparable. But at the same time, I am going to be extremely interested to see how it holds up to what I played on the September 30th, because you're also going to be bringing in online 1v1. So like if the collision system isn't like a good bit better than what I played, like it is going to take a lot of patching to get it right, I think. Yeah. Um, because as I said, like with PES 2021 last year, the game was great. And then they did a patch and the collision system went haywire. Then they kind of fixed it back again. Um, like, I do think that there is a good game in there. But then again, I'm probably more optimistic than most. Like, so I'm not going to make any, you know, excuses for my yeah. optimism with it. Like, I want PES to be good. But if it's not good enough for me to play, I won't play it. Like, it's as yeah. simple as that. And, you know, you know how much Warzone I play. Like, I you know how much FIFA I play. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that, like, I do find, I found enjoyment with PES 21. I played about 400 hours of co-op, I'd say, with my buddies, like offline, like just three, three, your two guests and myself playing online, having to crack. Um, but that's not to say that PES 21 was, was like a perfect game. You know, it, had a, it yeah. still has a lot of issues, but yeah. I do think that there is a good game in there. But I, again, I do, you know, preface that by saying that I don't think that they're going to stop tweaking this game for the next six months, like. That's genuinely what I think. I don't think that, you know, that they're going to just put this out on September 30th and then like, right, it's launched now. Let's start focusing on content for creative teams or let's start focusing on my club or Master League or whatever. I think they're going to be tweaking this for the first six weeks of the game or for the first six months. Copies. I just hope they save copies of the code because if they do strike one, and again, using my kind of my my job yeah. sort of stuff is is that you know that when you have like software releases and you have code branches, you want to make sure that you've at least got the backups yeah. because at least that way, then if they do <laughs> strike gold, in, it, let's just say for example, you know fourth patch in, they absolutely yeah. knock it out of the park. Everything works perfectly, and it's you know it's it's PES six two point mm. right. That they then don't then do a patch and then it becomes PES 2014 2.0, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like so so if if there are people out there from Konami who are listening, which I'm sure they are, or I'm sure they're not probably, they're probably hating right <laughs> But just just save your code branches, please. Yeah, because definitely. then if you do destroy gold and you, you do get the feedback of go, don't change anything. Mm. We mean it, don't change anything. Yeah. No, I agree <laughs> because, with you, I agree. Yeah, you know, it's 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 uh, and again, like I said, it, it's gonna be a case of now. It, it, you're, it's now going to be it's going to be hard for people like me for example who because I, I don't think there is enough there right now mm. to bring me back through the door to yeah. play it. Sure I will play it out of curiosity when it drops on the 30th but in terms of me kind of going back to being a streamer of it and going down that route mm. I don't think there is enough in it for me to then go yeah, okay, but that's fair like that's a fair criticism over, definitely over over fifa mm. you know and, and that's what it's going to live yeah. and die by man i think like yeah. at the end of the day right like my my takeaway from this is that if you liked pez 20 or you like pez 2021 and you found some sort of replayability in it yes like you know, you can complain about it and, you know, we see guys that stream the game, like, they will complain about it and they will criticise it because they're playing hundreds of hours of the game and they know the game inside out. Yeah. But they'll still play it, they'll still stream yeah. it and they'll still enjoy certain parts of it that will make it worthwhile. I'm the same with Warzone. I nearly delete Warzone some nights. I get so angry at the campers and the way people play. <laughs> the amount Other of days, I saw about yeah. the Ultimate Team today where they were like five minutes into Ultimate Team and it's like fly kicking your TV. Yeah. Like, I, I but that's that it. Like, you'll always players. find, I yeah. think that that's going to sum up pe- like eFootball and the way it works is that like, if you want, if you, there will be stuff in this game that will be frustrating. It's the same as any sports game if you play it long enough. There will be stuff that you'll find enjoyment out of. And it'll just be a personal decision whether it's for you or it's not for you. And I think this year especially is like the ultimate test of somebody that has played PES like just automatically every year, just downloaded yeah. and got it. This is the first year where you say like, well, this isn't PES. Like it's not PES. Like it's a new direction and a new brand new model, you know, where there's a focus on cross play and a focus on like you know interacting between different like mobile console pc like it's a brand new direction for them so 
it's not going to be for some people but i think genuinely i do think that the gameplay will be fine it mightn't be fine on september 30th for some people it mightn't be fine come christmas for some people but i do think it'll be very playable and you know you'll be able to pass you'll be able to shoot you'll be able to score goals you'll be able to do tricks like all of that sort of stuff but it's yeah. it's a similar criticism that's leveled at FIFA from people that have never tried it. It's like, oh, it's just a kids game. It's arcadey. You can do yeah. five hundred step yeah, overs in a row, and yeah. it's like, well, why don't you go and be a beast on that game then? If it's so easy, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I I'm getting a bit animated about it. But that's what I see it as is that like, you know, it's it it's going to be fine. I think you know, visually it'll be fine. Gameplay it'll be grand. Like it'll be fine. But if it's going to be for you, no one can make that decision. Like. You know what I mean? I uh, like. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say because I think it's. I think for 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 me and for for uh, I would say a a sizable chunk of of the fan base, it it's it's come it the, the kind of the the ill feeling is now kind of. I'd say the ill feeling of the trailers and stuff has now kind of passed. Like everyone yeah. stopped screenshotting it. Everyone stopped pointing out the flaws in it, and now people are now looking at it, going, "Well, is it is it going to be worth?" my time at this point and mm. i think there are, there are quite a few people who are looking at it going joe i've played pez for years yeah and this e-football thing it ain't it ain't gonna be for me and 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 that's that's okay that's okay to not want to play it it's okay to want to go and play other games like i i say it constantly all the time just do what you want to do exactly the, the, the whole the whole point i think that a lot of us a lot of gamers miss nowadays is that games are meant to be fun. Mm -hmm. They're meant Escape, to be fun. Yeah. Now, whether you find fun in being, being competitive, whether you find fun in just roaming around on Hitman and like trying to push people off of cliffs because <laughs> you just find it funny, whether it's whether it's a case that you like watching um, Carrasco just like crash a helicopter <laughs> out of nowhere, like whatever that case may be, you've got to find your fun somewhere. Exactly. And if it ain't with either of the big football games, that's mm -hmm. fine. There's Football Manager, there's Call of Duty, there's Battlefield, there's Spider-Man, there's yeah. all of these other different titles that you're going to have coming out. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you're going to have other games to play. Yeah, of course. Yes, I know that some people will go, yeah, but I'm a football fan and I want a football game to be exactly what I want it yeah. to be. And it's like, yeah, but that's to one human being. Yeah. These games but it is frustrating are for... when you, like, it is frustrating that, you know, when a game like Spider-Man comes out or something like, you know, Hitman or something where it's universally acclaimed and people are like, oh, this is amazing. And 90% of people agree it's amazing. Sports games aren't like that, I don't think, because gameplay is kind of secondary to what else is going on in the game. You know, it's even even like NBA 2K, like... I'm loving NBA 2K at the moment. Like, it's a fantastic series. Like, the, like everything is spot on with it. But it has deep flaws as well for somebody like yeah. me who can't sit down and play 30 hours a week and grind. So when I go yeah. online, I'm coming up against guys that are like, they're just, I just, I, I can't compete with them. Like, you know what I mean? No matter how yeah. much money I would spend on the game, like, or anything, it's just like, it, it, it should take you about 60 hours to rank up. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's just that, yeah, there yeah. is that grind there. And it's brilliant for people that have the time to grind. But for me... You know, I just want to go on and play a couple of career mode games and then go on and play 2v2 or 1v1 or 3v3 in the park and then, you know, have a bit of crack with the lads that I'm playing with. Like, it's not it's not serious and I don't really care when I lose or that. Same with Warzone. You know, I play Warzone not to win every game. It's for the social aspect. It's rinse and repeat. Same gun, same map, same people I'm playing with all the time. And yeah. it's just a social hook. So I do think that people are going to especially this year going to have to sit down and say am i actually enjoying e-football here playing it like you know am i enjoying playing this i'm not really yeah then why am i playing it like yeah this is I the mean, first time that they're going to have to i think decide that because there's going to be especially at launch there's going to be no modes to to go to and sync hours yeah. into it's literally just going to be gameplay for the first until they add creative teams like so yeah. and that's the thing with 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 football games as a whole i mean you can end up being burnt out within the first mm you know, four or five weeks if you just <laughs> playing the same game mode over and over again. Yeah. It, it's you know, again, I think from from a from a standpoint of uh, of an outside guy looking in, but uh, and I say that with the greatest of respect. Like I, I'm well aware that I am on a, a you know a, a an e football podcast, you know, yeah. just to bring myself up to date. Um 
Yeah, oh, but you're still way, you're still to... tuned. You're still hooked in to still... Pez. Yeah. You know what I mean. You talk yeah. to guys that you know. You're we talk regularly. Like you help out I'm with Pez Uni stuff. Streams. Yeah, yeah, you're I'm always seeing people streams. Yeah. I'm always about the place, so yeah. it's always like I keep it. I keep an ear to the floor for for anything that is coming. And I think just looking at it, I think it's just. It, it's the lack of knowing, mm. it, it, and that's and that's what's that's what's killing the vibe. Yeah, at the moment yeah there's no there hype been, because of that. You know, there isn't there isn't a hype train. Yeah. There used to be like, oh, we're all on the hype train. We're all gonna get excited. You'd get onto social media, you'd be pinging people left and right. They'd be pinging <laughs> you back, and everybody'd be like getting gassed. And instead, now because of the way that it's being fumbled in marketing, because yeah. of the way it's being fumbled in communication, because of the way it's being fumbled in terms of trailers. You're now left with people who are just kind of going, okay, fine. Mm. Because, like, what if they had brought out a trailer of, like, you know, like I saw a couple of tackle animations where in PES 21, if you win the ball as clean as day now, I mean, absolute perfect tackle, and you graze off the player in the process after you've won the ball, the ref will blow it and be like, you're like, what? Like, what? Like, and then, and then whips out a red card. Yeah. And, like, and it's like, red. what is going on? And then two minutes later, you're running, you know, straight through and goal and you hack down the last man and it's a yellow. Like, I saw when I was, even in, I only played for two hours and like, I played against the AI. Like, I, I gave away a penalty to the AI uh, because Dembele from Barcelona was doing step overs in the box which i haven't seen in pez since like i don't know when like maybe pez 16 and then on the other end i got a i got a free up like on the top after a really good advantage like they call back to play and like i won a brilliant tackle where i i kind of took ball you know man and all like i literally went through Roy Keane style <laughs> and it was no free like it was just a physical challenge and that's yeah. something that they've worked on so i guess what i'm trying to say is that like if if they had released a trailer where like could you just imagine if a trailer had gone up on twitter right and it was like forget about everything that we've seen so far right and the teasers that have gone out in the deep dive or the six minute video whatever you want to call it like if you had a trailer and it goes up and it said like completely overhauled manual defending you know take control of your defense like never before like and just sell it sell their new stuff that they're doing yeah and then show a couple of the new tackle animations a couple of the new shooting animations and say you know like it's a whole new game, a whole new franchise. It's like something like that, like from an American yeah, yeah, yeah. point of view. People will be focused on what's new rather than saying, this is, you know, Pez Light, basically, that's launching in yeah, September and, and 30th, that's it. You know? I mean, and, and that's, and you've, got, you've just got to kind of question those decisions. You have mm. to question who, who's kind of made those types of calls to, 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 to go with that approach. Yeah. And, and the whole kind of, I, I, I used the phrase earlier, but controlling the narrative the narrative has already been written. Yeah. For well, people Konami. will write their own narratives, like. Well, they've they've already wrote the, yeah. they've already wrote it for Konami yeah. by its community. Its community has already written the narrative of going. This game is mobile, scaled up for PS Five. Yeah. This is crossplay that's not going to work because they can't control one server. So how are they going to control five mm. or five platforms even? Yeah. Um. You've got people who are saying, you know, oh well, look at the state of this, that, and the other in the trailers. That narrative has already been written. Mm. So for them to then, for them to then come out and be like, "Oh, we're looking at photorealism, and it's meant to be this, it's meant to be that." It's, yeah. uh, it's just. Yeah, oh, I don't think anyone would agree, even though years. I'm. It's like it's. Yeah. It just rings a little bit hollow. Yeah, but even though, like, I am generally, you know, the more positive of here and always looking for a glass half full, like we've said countless times over the last couple of podcasts, like you know, we've ripped certain things to shreds. You know, the trailer wasn't good enough. Like, the, the the overall presentation and aesthetics of the game and all the stuff that we've brought out, like, the yellow, you know, like, Manchester United having, like, a pink background for their logo and, yeah. like, the blue and the, the, the yellow and stuff like that. Like, I think people get a little bit kind of, not confused, but I think they mix up criticism of a game compared to criticism of... I hate like that. Do you know what I mean? That they hate Konami. Yeah, They're it, that kind of way. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The game and isn't that, perfect, that, but yeah. if the game isn't perfect, then you criticize what's in the game. Like, there's a big difference between saying that, you know, you hate, like, you know, you hate, like, you hate the animations in Pez compared to that, like, you know, Kana you hate Konami. Like, there's a big difference. And I think people don't differentiate between. That's the bigger problem I see is that if somebody get downloads eFootball that has knows nothing about Pez, has never heard of Pez before, they're like a ten or twelve year old child, or 
they're a 40 year old man right and they say this is actually fun like i'm playing here and i'm enjoying what i'm doing this is fun I <laughs> they're used to immediately play. the pariah because yeah, they like the game exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. and that's the thing yeah. and i always go back to saying it that like things can be taken out of context like us having this podcast tonight you know people want will want to hear what they want to hear out of it and they'll think you know that criticism is one thing and positivity is another thing but everything can be taken out of context i would say that like there's no reason for you to play e-football this year if it's not for you and i keep going back to that but it sounds like obvious but like everyone should try it and then make up their own yeah and i make your own call yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 100 percent, 100 percent. because again i always said the same thing about you know fifa the first thing that i get you know when I first started playing it last year and I first started streaming it was, was, oh, does that mean you hate Pez now? I'm like, no, no, it doesn't mean I hate Pez. It <laughs> literally just means that I'm enjoying a game over another one. Like, but have you it. seen, right, have you seen on that point, have you seen since you've went, and I think we, we've never really dived into this, but just to finish it off maybe and end on it, like, do you see that from the flip side then, that when you started playing FIFA first, like last year or whatever? Yeah. You did you see that side of people coming in, like what you're saying there, questioning why you were playing it, what your motives were for playing it? Like, did you, you know, you just said it there, like, did you hate Pez and all this sort of stuff? Like, was that annoying, like, or was it kind of something that you expected, or was it just? It was something. Uh, yeah, I don't think we ever have. Been no, we've never actually. really dived into we, it. We haven't. We haven't really known. Um, I think I expected it. I expected it because whenever anybody who plays PES or eFootball um, on a platform, mm. be it YouTube, be it Twitch, be it Twitch, wherever the case it was, be it ill-fated mixer, wherever it was, Facebook gaming, all that stuff, you 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 get you get you get pigeonholed almost. Yeah. yeah. Like you get you get that pigeonhole of going, oh well he just he just plays e football and, and, and that's it. Yeah. Um you know there were certain people that were I mean I've had quite a bit this year actually. I won't I won't lie. I've had I've had people who have said to me, Oh is that gonna impact your your commentary stuff? Is it gonna impact anything to do with Konami? Mm. And I'm like it, it shouldn't because I don't imagine that a games company a know who's a, who, know who I am, and b I'm only giving you across fair criticism. Exactly, that's what, criticism that's that's needed. what I'm saying, man. It's differentiating between criticism and being uh, not abusive, but criticizing a game for shortfalls. Like as I've said, there I love NBA 2K, I love Warzone, but it ha- they have flaws. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. perfect. Like, and that's the thing. FIFA is the same. Yeah. E football is going to be the same. It's yeah. as simple as that. But it's going but in, terms, issues. in terms of in terms of my audience, yeah, there was a fa- there's been a fair amount of people that have turned around to me and been like, Do you know what? I, I don't I don't like FIFA, therefore mm. I won't watch your stream. And I'm mm. like, Cool. Do you yeah. know what? Yeah. A, a Twitch or, or any type of content platform, it's very much like TV. Like if you don't like what you're watching, mm. you can happily switch the channel. Yeah. And that's always been my line to people whenever they've came in and given it the also oh, do you hate now or do you hate Konami now or is this that and, and I just go do you know what if you don't like what you're watching please change the channel mm. you know as, as much as I enjoy having an audience as much as I enjoy having people in there it it, it does it, it matters to me more when people are there for me as a content creator mm. rather than the game that I'm playing on the screen yeah you know I was streaming the other night to I think it was six people playing Hitman had a hell of a laugh doing it because yeah, I was so like, yeah, him. I'm trying to, I'm trying to roll round a, round a level, trying to <laughs> figure out, figure out how to become a supermodel and run the catwalk. But yeah, it, as a content creator, you, you, you always expect it. You expect the well, why, why? There has to be a reason. Yeah, like, there has to be. You can't just be enjoying something else, you know. Uh, and I've had it before where people have come into my DMs and been like, well, do you, do you really enjoy? It? Or are you just saying you yeah. enjoy it? It's just and the I'm same like, with me when I go to these I'm events, like, man. It's the same just, thing, you know, it's yeah, questions. I, and... I just look at it and just go, look at how many games I've played. Look at the team that I ended up with at the end of FIFA 21 mm. and tell me why I enjoy the game. Yeah. Because I've managed to build a team. I've managed to play with that team and I've managed to get rewards out of the game. <laughs> and that's why I enjoy it, you know. And that's and that's that's all it is. There yeah. hasn't really been a... And, he, and even then, when I've then said that to people... And I'll say this: the the maturity of the audience who I then who have then come in and said that have then gone. 
Oh, do you know what? Fair play. You're doing what you you doing what you want to do. Yeah, you're enjoying course. what you want to enjoy. And do you know what? That is exactly the reaction you want. Instead of the 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 gaming gatekeeping that I see constantly on Twitter, mm. instead on Twitch is a little bit different. It's people who will come in and just go, "Hey, actually, fair play to you for doing what you're doing. Like yeah. you just want to do what you're doing. You're enjoying it." Uh, and that's yeah. it. I think I, it is I only a think... game, and it's a game in yeah, as well when you're in a community as well. Like nobody would nobody would stop you up in the middle of the street and say. Oh, do you watch Love Island and you know give you abuse about it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Whereas no, no, somebody... one's sitting, no, one's, <laughs> no one's sitting here and saying you're watching Married at First Sight at the minute, aren't you? Yeah, and I'll I go, actually, yeah, yeah, and they'll be like, oh, do you know what? Awful, awful human yeah. being. Like, but <laughs> yeah. no one, no one, no one would. No one yeah, would. but that would. Twitter, but that's like in the real different. in the real life. It's like, you know, I often I often give I love my analogies. Like, and one of my buddies actually said to me the other day it was like, he said it's like walking into a cinema. Uh, of like well you know it wouldn't be full cinema now because of covid but it's like walking into a cinema and standing in front of the screen and saying what are y'all doing watching this movie it's terrible <laughs> but that's what it's like it's like why are y'all playing pez it's terrible oh you know you're paid to play it or you're paid to promote it or you're doing this you're doing that or you know sometimes it's just about like Sorry, playing I mean, something I mean, my, and that's my, it my, my 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 twitch audience is vastly dwarfed by by sep yeah, example. yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm sure that he would not mind me mentioning this, but the amount of times I've been in his stream and people have come in and made that comment to him, why are you still playing PES for? Yeah, why are you still <laughs> I can PES? imagine. Yeah, and I'm like, the guy has been doing content since I don't know, fourteen, since, like, the, since what feels like the dawn of time, yeah. right? The guy, the guy knows what he likes. He likes PES or he likes e. Well, I can't say he likes e football because he hasn't come out yet. That's mm. that. That'd be that'd be slander. I don't want to do that too. But it's like, but it's like the guy has been doing content from from you know from Pez twenty fourteen yeah. or whatever. He's the first partnered streamer that solely did mm. like Pez stuff. Like there is a reason why because he has a, an affinity to his audience yeah. and his audience has an affinity to him. He's not then going to turn around and be like, ah, uh, do you know what? I'm going to sack this off in the morning mm. just because uh, Tommy, age twenty three, wants him to sack it off. <laughs> like it's not going to happen. It's all like the Twitter. F- he, uh, armchair managers that yeah. want to lay out you know yeah or as or as i like to call them assholes on the internet who <laughs> like to just point out and go oh well you should stop doing this it's like no actually do you know what he does exactly what he wants to exactly do. yeah and, he, and and there and, is there is yeah. a sense of that as well like i've been editing for the last week and like i've been editing all year pays like something with editing but like i enjoy editing like you know it's a hobby like i love sitting down editing and getting things right and doing stats and stuff it's just something i enjoy doing and like, I think the biggest thing is that like, this is not to take away or to undercut anyone that has criticisms of the game or anyone that has criticisms of eFootball, the direction it's taken, the new model, the trailers, the design of the UI, like all of those are definitely warranted. Like, and I think, you know, be as critical as you can be with, the, with, with you know what I mean, with your criticism and like, you know, give it hard when you need to and say like, look, this isn't good enough. Like, it's as simple as that. But at the same time, at the end of the day, like it, it is a video game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even though we are like obsessed with it sometimes and, you know, we can take it or leave it other times or different video games come out. Yeah. Like, it's just at the end of the day, I think, you know, people are definitely right to criticize this series like and this franchise it's it's deserved some of most of it over the years like of where the game could be or whatever and the thing is the thing is that the people who criticize it now would have had the same energy when it was in its heyday and it was being praised yeah they'd have that same yeah. energy so i don't think there's the whole narrative of oh well they're just doing it for no for, i think they are passionate about it yeah of but course. They're, pa- they're passionate about it when it they were passionate about it when it was great yeah. when it was the best game that was around and they're passionate about it now even when it's not the greatest game yeah. around you know yeah, that's that, it it's, that, it's, it's that, more of being in like it's more of being involved in something like i know like like alistair like the classic guy like he 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 edits all the classic stuff like i would say alistair has probably edited 10 times more than played Pez in the last five years. Like in terms of hours spent editing, and I'm probably the same, being honest with you. Pez 16, I played about a thousand hours, I'd say, of Pez 16. And then 17 and 18 was a bit lower. And then obviously I started editing it a bit more um, yeah. and playing co-op a lot then over the last two or three years. But like, yeah, I mean, it is, it is what it is, man. I mean, it, at the end of the day, right? Like, you know, going back to the build that I played, 
And I think the three things that people will be most concerned about will be, you know, visually, how it plays, and, you know, what's the hope for the future. And it's like, depending on what your hopes are yourself, like, it's, you know, me, I'm not going to be able to make up your mind for you. Like, it's it's like yeah, reading a review on IGN it's, or anywhere. It's, yeah. Yeah, you know, and I think that's I think that's the key bit, and and we'll, we'll hopefully we'll we'll try and leave this here. But it's like it's only going to scale based on your expectations. Yeah. Either you either when it comes out on the thirtieth, either you're going to be pleasantly surprised because it's not going to be as bad as you thought it was, yeah. or you're going to be severely disappointed because it's not as good as you thought it was going to be. Mm. And I think that that that's that kind of unsafe zone that I think. Yeah, that's, that's why I thought it. Amusing. Like when I initially saw it when I went into the office, that's why I thought it looked so good when I sat down and played it. Because all I'd seen was like what looked like 480p trailer of like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like no shadows, yeah. like terrible grass, like players all over the place, linesmen on the pitch from screenshots. And then I looked and I was like, damn, this game actually looks really good. Like look at yeah. Ronaldo. He looked absolutely class. Pogba looked insane on it, I thought. He looked so good. And then, you know, the players, like the kits, like they fixed all the kits, they fixed all the shorts. The shorts have their own animations now where they kind of move and you can like grab them with certain animations. All that stuff, like my expectations were super low going in. So when I initially saw it, I was like, whoa, this is actually cool. So um, there's hope for me yet then? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're saying. There's until hope you for press me X. Yet. Until you press X. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think, man, I, I'm looking forward to getting your impressions of it because like we all have our own individual unique opinions like and you yeah. know i'm looking forward to the rest of the lads that played it to see what the consensus was because when i was playing it over there the overall consensus from the people i was doing the play test with were were mostly positive you know what i mean it was it was mostly positive and you could see that like a lot of stuff was 2bc or yeah we're adding this or yeah that'll be worked on and stuff like that and yeah. that would piss off some people and it will also be okay for some people you know, I mean, one good one good um, example that I, I would think of of how I feel Pez is going to be over the next couple of years is probably that No Man's Sky one. I know you've mentioned it yeah. before. Like, yeah, yeah. that was pretty much... I don't think Pez will be that bad. I think Pez will be yeah, playable it's, it's, and it'll yeah. look grand when, we bring, yeah. when it comes out. But yeah. don't, No Man's Sky... Again, Pez won't be... I don't think eFootball would be as bad. But, no, like, No but Man's Sky was DOA on arrival. Like, it was dead on arrival when it launched. Yeah. And now it's like unbelievable that's what i was gonna like. say i was gonna say it's either gonna go one of two ways and potentially games that are kind of continue the same you know it's either it's either gonna go the route of no man's sky mm -hmm. or it's gonna go the route of cyberpunk well in the sense, yeah. in, in, <laughs> yeah. the sense of, in the sense of one is borderline still not playable unless you've got a high spec pc yeah i'm not saying football is in that state yeah yeah because, yeah because it's clearly not but you yeah. get the analogy i'm trying to make is that you know they're still trying to update it they're yeah still just trying it, to get yeah it is a good around comparison. about where they want it to be or it's going to go to no man's sky route where actually give it you know give it six to nine months or give it a year and and we'll be all be sat here kind of going well this is going to blow as, you know fifa 23 out of the wall so, yeah like, i think if they stick like, to their vision definitely if they stick to what they're doing and they keep the defending in they keep the pace of the game they keep certain aspects that i saw in the build that i played if they keep it there like that and they just continue to move on and listen to feedback but not be you know governed by the feedback and like say like no we're happy with the pace we're happy with the defending it is difficult but you need to learn it you need to go into the yeah, tutorials yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like if the i come over and try if i come over and play fifa this year like you would you would smack you would smack me around the place on FIFA because you know the fundamentals and you know the basics and you know what does yeah. and doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same on Warzone, like I'm good enough at Warzone, so I usually get a lot of kills. But like if somebody started playing it, they wouldn't even know how to run around properly or you know, how to jump properly or to, you know, I'm slide. About Carrasco, or, will you? We've only well, mentioned him once. In all but name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not crash helis but like that is it like you can see the, the like i i do think that is the best probably way of looking at it as like, i think with time i think this game will be fine and playable at launch we'll have to have another extended podcast with the creative teams and to see what they actually add with the creative teams they seem very confident I feel, I feel about at what this they point, have like i feel yeah i feel at this point i am going to have to play it just from a research standpoint yeah man i want you to play that's it. what it kind of feels like because i can't necessarily come onto a podcast and be like but I haven't played it. I, I, I'm going to have to give it some type of critique yeah. because otherwise it's just going to be pointless. Yeah, so I like, 
you know, I, I, you've, you've kind of got me because you said to me, oh, no, I think you'll play. I'm like, OK, yeah, I actually going to have to play. Yeah, but I think you should. I mean, worst case scenario, practice. like, look, look at what happened with the beta. I mean, you know, you tried the beta. Like, you yeah. had your feelings about the beta and that was it. Like, they're your feelings yeah. and like, it is what it is. But yeah. I think that's the worst thing that can happen. I mean, I'm going to try FIFA. Like, I'm going to definitely try FIFA and see if it's for me. You know, if it is brilliant, I have another option there to play, yeah. whether it's online, whether it's clubs, whether it's, you know, career mode. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, That's it. that doesn't seem such a crazy idea, like, to try it. No, it's, it's, it's amazing that yeah. not to have one game that you solely rely on. It's yeah. great. And on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, we will call it there. Um, so, obviously, a big thank you to, to uh, Barry for giving his, his insight and thoughts on the, the stuff that he did play. Yeah. <laughs> um, at uh, at Konami's My limited uh, time, five minute games. And uh, yeah, we will be up on SoundCloud. We'll be up on iTunes, YouTube. You'll be able to see these lovely mugs. Like they'll <laughs> they'll all be around the place. Um, of course, uh, you've got our apps as well. Of course, on Twitter. So you know, if you've got any feedback for us, or if you want to extend the conversation, yeah, as you, can be, you can always contact us on Twitter too. Um, and we'll see you guys again next time.